Hello everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and we're working here on, this is the beginning of part 9 of the uh, rebuilding the deck. Hopefully this will be the last one in this series. I don't know, we may go to part 10, we shall see, but uh, I want to complete this here very soon here. So this may be, there may be a part 10, don't know, but this is part 9 here. We shall see. Okay, so what we're doing today is this section here of the deck here up to the hot tub. That's what we're going to plan on doing today here. Or at least get started on it here. Get this here done here. I've got a few of the boards here that I need. Some of the boards here. And i got to get to pull some the long boards in here. i got to find out. Hopefully i got enough decking boards here to finish this today. Uh, if not, I'll have to go buy some more because I definitely need some more decking for the uh, stairs that are going down there. And, since, and when I widen those stairs right there. So... We shall see where we get here today, but this is the beginning of part nine. Okay, so I brought all the decking that I had up here, and that's what I got left. But I got a couple pieces I can fill in here. I got it, that one there, right there I want to cut. That'll give me a piece about five or six foot long. Uh, this one here, I got a cut here. That'll give me another piece. Uh, get a short piece out of this one here. So, I'll be close, because I do have those short pieces there. It's going to be very, very close by the time I cut it. <laughs> I may, who knows how close it's going to be, but it's going to be very close. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we didn't have enough decking to finish out. I got boards right here, just kind of using the spacers. I got one bowed one here. I got to take and get, figure it out how to get it in here. But we're starting to lay them down here. So I got to get I got to get a 10 footer and an 8 footer here to go here. Then I got to get four ooh, way over there, four 8 footers that way and six 8 footers that way, so that's 10. Then I need to get I got to count however many 8 footers I need to get here. So I have to count it all up here. So I got to go and pick up some more decking here. Uh, then we can finish this out here. That will be all of the decking. For this year as soon as we finish that out here uh unfortunately didn't get any video of this here i set up the camera and forgot to turn it on so we're getting a little of what's going on here and then we got the sit laying up on top of the hot tub there that is the electrical cable that we're going to run underneath the deck uh, that's going to be run underneath the deck and we have the electrical panel down i'll come down here so we got started wiring in the hot tub still got some more work to do on it got to cut the hot the but there's the panel down here so i got a 50 amp circuit here for the hot tub i got a 30 amp circuit here that's going to go for the hvac here and two 20 amp 110s that are going to be used for electrical outlets out here uh for various usage whatever so that's where we're going so i've got to get the wiring in here get that wired in and then uh get this here all done here and then we'll be ready for staining after i put the um rails up here i got one rail there another rail here a rail there another one there another one there so that's four rails then I got to do rails for the steps. It'll be one, two, three, four, five rails for steps. Uh, so th that's still got to be done. So we've got nine rails, nine sets of rails to build after this year. After we get this year done here, so hopefully, if the weather stays nice here, we'll be able to get this year. Get the vast majority of this here done by next weekend. Uh, if the weather is good enough that they can to, to allow me to work every evening after work on this year. But uh, we're getting there. Okay, right now I'm cutting stringers for that end over there of the deck right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it over there. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There we go. So we've got 
that section right there where the stringers for the steps coming down. Let's see if I can get my finger up in here. Oh, there it goes. Huh. Wrong place. That, that part right there, there's uh, going to be steps going that way and the steps coming this way. And uh, so we're working on the stringers here. I've got that set cut out here. And this is the first set that I got set, set and laying up here on the board here. And uh, these are laying on here to take me mark out the next board here for me to cut. Uh, and then that's actually two sets of stringers. It's uh, the, the longer stretch uh, set over here. This is for the ones coming down this way because it's further downhill. And then this here shorter set is for the going up there, going up the hill. So there'll be three sets of stringers like this here. Then I'll use all these cutoffs here on a set of stringers that's going to be used for uh, where it's just going to be they're going to be uh nailed in, uh, screwed into it and the for the boards that on it they'll be kind of a flush set like i did on that set of stringers over there so we're going to do kind of that there for the outside set of stringers so that's uh that's what we're doing right now uh get back to this here i would have uh the camera up here so they can show what i'm doing while i'm doing it except for it's very windy and I'm afraid the uh, camera stand would blow over, so we're going to get this here right here, and then I'll show you as I get them put in place. Okay, so here's the stringers just set in place. They're just propped up against there. <coughs> I still have to clear out down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Clear out down here so I can have blocks underneath here so they're not touching the ground here. Although this is ground contact. Uh, they still should not be touching the ground. Got to clear out, level out here. And I got four, four, four inch blocks to go underneath here. So it lifts it up, levels it out. And then I got to put the, on the inside of the, this stringer here, I got to put the triangles here that's good, that the board will rest on there. So that's, uh, that's where we got here so far. I got the stringers done and that's where we're heading to. So. We're gonna have this area right here done here, hopefully this evening. That's the goal. Okay, so we have the uh, stringers here in place. This is the long stringers, got uh, blocks down here. They're not quite right, I mean, they need to be leveled out and everything, but right now I'm just gonna get the steps in place here. Those will probably kind of settle out on their own just a little bit. I still need to get some blocking underneath these here. Uh, I've got some pieces of block that'll fit underneath that there. Uh, I just got to go get it, go to pull it up. There's some pieces, so that's not sitting directly on the ground. But I'm going to get the uh, steps in first. Uh, those parts, those, those things come a little bit later. I need to get the uh, steps in. There's all the uh, lumber there to the decking for making the steps. So these are going to be 46 and a half inches. I need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'll get three out of there, so that'd be seven of them that I'll use. Seven of those 15 that I've got there. Then the rest of them will be used for that set of stairs whenever I widen those there. I still gotta move the uh, HVAC condenser. I'm gonna move it to the right and around a little bit here. Uh, I got plenty of cable, uh, plenty of, uh, of, of, uh, um, piping so that I, that'll do that so it's not uh, not a problem I got probably enough right to take move it out two foot without a problem so that's sometime in the future uh, we have gotten the hot tub wired in uh, but we don't have the yeah we got the hot tub is all wired in uh, we got the uh, SER cable the uh, coming from there going around to the front it's not wired in yet it's wired in in here in the box but it's not wired in over at the main panel uh, I still got to run it through some PVC conduit here that I've got to get mounted up on the wall there there's the PVC conduit going over to the main panel so I got to run that through that PVC conduit I got to do a cut and a bend right here Cause it's a little bit longer it's only i mean that's only 30 foot across there and i got 20 foot there so i need to cut the uh pvc conduit a little bit short 
Then they get the heat gun out here and take make a bend in it so it goes underneath the deck and then I gotta feed the uh, cable to it. So next we're going to do right now though, so I'm gonna start cutting up 20 sets of steps of 46 and a half inches. So we're gonna get that done. And again, it's been windy out here uh, with gusts of wind. It's been dry, uh, it's been calm and then wind. So I don't trust not knock, having it knock over the uh, tripod with the camera on it. So we're doing this here a little at a time. Okay, we have the steps in place here on this here play on this here, and on this side over here. We got them in place as well. Problem is, I only have a handful of screws left. I got to go buy some more screws to finish this here because I got these two boards here as well. I can't go, come on that I have to be screwed down as well. So I gotta go buy some more deck screws. And then we'll be finished with all the decking steps except for replacing those in the future. But they're there in place. These are in place. So there's another side. So now it's down to putting in the deck rails after I get some screws for, for this year. Again, I didn't get any video, but I now have these rails here. I can't, couldn't get any closer there. Otherwise, I would have no way to bolt it in down to the, down underneath there because of the gutter. Got that rail. Got this rail in here. Now, this rail was interesting here is because I had to go to the outside of it here because it's on the corner here. So I had to make some corner pieces here. So we're going to get... This one here done uh, tomorrow, and that one there done tomorrow, at least. That's the goal. Uh, I got a late start today because this is getting my grandson moved off, uh, out the door, helping him get out the door. He's heading to his new place. But there we go. We've got the rail in here. Still got to do the rail here at the end of this little platform here and the rail for the steps there. Still got to redo those steps there after I move the AC in it. And got to do rails for those steps over there. So we're getting there. Uh, all right. So we're going to try to get this end here finished here right now. Here I got, let's see if I can get my fingers here. Got this little rail here to do here. Then I got steps over here. And then steps over there. I got just a little bit, little work area here that I'm going to work in here. So first I'm going to do these rails right here, and once that's finished, then we're going to do these rails here, and then these rails over here. So that's where we're going to start today. So, I've got to uh, cut these pieces. They're just under 34 inches for the top and bottom part, and then um, 34 inches for the top. I uh, had to find my tape measure, then had to go find my square. It's like I didn't have any of the stuff I needed right there immediately. So get these here pieces cut, then mark out uh, where the um, uh, ballast is going to go. I can go get my pencil or something. Uh, I don't remember what I had to go get there. But uh, oh, I had to go get another box of the ends. So um, get the uh, mark here at uh, um, five inch uh, on centers and then screw these uh, plastic pieces on the end get it in place put that in place there and then we're going to do the top one um, and uh, I put some clamps in there just get it uh, an approximate location for it and uh, then we're going to use the uh, uh, had to go get the uh, ratchet, the, the socket to take loosen them up because those weren't quite weren't quite vertical. So I had to get a little bit of room there to get it adjusted into place where it needs to go, get everything where it needs to be, and uh, get the uh, ends in place there, and then screw that top piece down, and then we put up the balusters, uh, six of these balusters here. 
Uh, they go up pretty quick and easy. Uh, four screws in each one, two on the top, two on the bottom, five inch centers, and, and it's all done. Okay, there's that section done. Now we're gonna work on this one over here. Let me see if I can get the camera so we can see that area while I'm working on it. Because I mean, I was, you probably couldn't see me part of the time there. And I know that's gonna be to a different place, different location. That might work. All right, so we're gonna go and try this one here. So we've got to get the post here in place here. So it's a matter of getting it in where it needs to go and uh, getting uh, the uh, holes screwed, uh, holes through there so I can put uh, the bolts in there to hold the uh, post up. So I had to do a little bit of maneuvering around there. Um, I uh, had to get go get the uh, um, spade bits because uh, the bit I had was dull, so I had to take and do a little bit of work to get it uh, so I can get it. So I started with a smaller bit and then went to a bigger bit uh, to get it through um, there. And two eight inch bolts, half inch. Eight, eight, uh, eight inch by half inch carriage bolts uh, in there. And then we can get uh, boards that are fairly close to the size that I need. Um, all right, right now I'm taking, trying to get the it ratcheted in there, get the nuts on the bottom there. It's like only got like three or four inches of, uh, underneath there to, to work with. And uh, so I'm going to get it vertical and... Uh, as I said before, those upper uh, those rails up there weren't quite vertical. They have a little bit of a need to go over a little bit, but not much. And so get the uh, boards here. I think we'll try to figure out how where I need them to be. And I start off and I got them too high, and it's like, well, that ain't gonna work. And uh, I'm gonna get a, get an approximation where they need to go and uh, test the board baluster goes. I say, no, we need to go lower. And I figure out exactly where it is they need to go. Okay. All right. The camera's apparently quit before while I was cutting and putting in those rails there in place here. Now I gotta put in the balusters for that section. Once that's finished, then we'll move over and do the stairs on this side. So now I'm standing gonna be out there standing out in the sun working on this here. So here we go. So, this is again just like the other part. You can get the balusters in here, but this is a little bit more difficult because we're taking doing it at an angle. Still, only need to take be five inches. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to do this here. It's a lot of boards. Like, mm, you know, I'm not sure about that. There, I think do some figuring out here, and I figure I said, well, okay, I got exact. I got like thirty. Five inches across there, just under 35 inches, and uh, so I figure out what it is. I need gap. Then I'm just taking do five inches over. Didn't do a uh, use the um, um, level plumb it out. Didn't go five. It's a mark at top and bottom. They didn't put it in there and just take go right on down the line. So there's seven balusters there. I think in this and here. So uh, and uh, we get that finished up pretty quick, like and easy. It is hot out there. It's 78 degrees on October 28th. Okay, we got those finished. Now we're going to take move over to do. Let me get this spun around here. This other side here. Oh, I'm getting all tangled up here. So we get the uh, post ready here. We've got to cut the little angle part of the top of it off here so we put a light on the top of it when we get this done. So I get the wife from out here and help. She's got to hold on to it in place where I want it while I can, uh, mark, get it set for so I can take the screw, um, drill the holes in and uh, 
then I go and put the bolts in. I didn't realize I put it in backwards because I got a slight angle, slight uh, offset on these here. So they was like, well, damn it. I didn't put them in backwards here. So I had to take them, drive them out, put them back in. So, eh, stuff happens. So we get it, uh, get that one in place. And we're going to do the same thing on this side here as we did with the other side. And uh, mar uh, get some boards in place here and get them laid out and get them marked where they need to be. I don't know, you can't see the, can't see some of the boards here. We get to get them, uh, put them, get them laid in here, get the wife to come over here and help me hold this sharpener while I take them put, uh, clamp it in there so I have it where I need it to be. And I get it marked so I can go cut it. So now they've been cut and I'm taking them back over here. I've got to put those plastic pieces on the end, get them in place. And one of these has got just a slight bow in it, so it takes a little bit of work to get it, but uh, it takes, uh, but uh, this is all number two lumber, so it's nothing straight. It's all twists and bends and it's got knots in it, but I like it for that uh, that style, that look. So that's the reason why I was going for it, so that's the reason why I went with that lumber. Plus, it was also a whole lot cheaper, too. But, uh, so, a uh had to go get my uh, angle drill because uh, I, uh, that was I could not get uh, screws in of that place here. So I had to get uh, this top piece put in here. This is the one that wants to twist here and can spend all kinds of trouble taking, trying to get it to untwist and uh, put a board on there, put a screw through it, take and use that there, take and use my knee up against it, take and try to get it, un get it untwisted. Got a little bit of the twist out of it, but not all of it. It's not much you can do about it, so you deal with it, do what you can with it, and get it put in place here. And uh, so, get uh, the same issue with the this side here, with doing the balusters, and uh, figure it's time for me to take a break. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break here before I can start on the balusters here. That's hot out in that sun. So it took a, about a 10 or 15 minute break there. Um, had a drink of water, cooled down a little bit, set in the shade for a little bit there because I'm standing back out in that sun again there. So it's literally beating right down on me here. So we've got the same issue here with taking doing the balusters here. I think this is going the other way. So it's like every five inches, they can do the uh, um, level, they can do a plumb, put in four screws, and uh, work on work away on down. There's uh, I don't know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think 10, 11 balusters here. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, it's it, it goes fairly quick, like it's. Once figured out where it is, what I got to do here, so it's like, wow, it's like, wear me out here. So, don't think. And then, uh, so, get these last few in here. It's like, oops. It's, and this in here, I, think, just, I put the uh, level up on top and then forget to use it for the next one. I'm like, on, oh, crap. Okay, so I got to figure out how to do this here so I can get the level in there beside of it and I get it done. So, get that there finished out there and we are done with this end of the deck. Okay, so that's it. This end of the deck, we've got those balusters there and rails. That rails and balusters there. And we got those down there. We got this here up here. We got this deck furniture out here on this end here. And so, as we go along here, here, keep the camera here along with me. The cord all hung up, unhook. There's our kitty cat. 
So no rails and balusters there because I'm going to build a thing for opening the uh, hot tub uh, top off right there. Got the balusters there. Rails. Still need to do those. Oh, that's complete. Oh, that's complete. And that's complete. Just need to do the stairs down there. We'll take and get those hopefully tomorrow. And that will be the end of part nine. And uh, so, so we're stopping for tonight. Okay. So now it's time to do this stringer, this uh, set right here. So you've seen me do this here a few times already here, so uh, I've got this sped up to 30 times speed here, so it shouldn't take me just a couple minutes here to go through it here, but uh, I think putting the ends, those plastic pieces on the ends of the bottom and the top rail, uh, marking out where the balusters are going to go, and uh, you put the uh, bottom one here. So you'll see the wife walking around here. She's uh, cleaning off the deck and cleaning up some stuff around the deck as well. Uh, so you'll see her walk across there occasionally with a broom or stuff as she's uh, doing some cleaning on the deck, uh, cleaning up of the deck, getting some of these uh, fall leaves gone. And uh, then I've got to uh, create some uh, the blocks. I've got to get them in place here so the the uh, for the top. And so there's putting in one of the blocks here uh, so that for the angle you can't see it. From here to the angle I'm at here, that's a 45 degree angle there. You can see the block there on this side here. And then we've got to put the uh, um, uh, top rail that the ballast is connected to and put a 2 by 4 a little a block on top of it so that it stays in place there. And we've got to put clamps across this here because it's uh, just needs like a quarter of an inch to take pull together here uh, to get that uh, one in place. And then I got to go down and make a new top rail because uh, I cut the uh, old one, uh, the original one, I cut it wrong. So I got to cu cut that there after I put the balusters up here. And uh, there's 13 balusters here for this here. Uh, and this ends up being exactly 150 balusters that we put in on the, this deck here. Uh, I just opened up another box of 50 thinking I was going to need them for this year, but uh, we had exactly just enough here to finish out this one last set of uh, uh, rails uh, for the for the deck here. And uh, now we're going to get the, uh, the top uh, handrail going in place. And so, now that one is complete there. Okay, this is uh, the end of uh, part nine. We decided not to do these stairs here, but instead we need to work on getting the deck and everything set up. I have a barbecue on Veterans Day here in two weeks, so I still got a lot of things I've got to get done before that. So I decided that we were going to think, we were going to end here. For part nine and we're going to take say the deck is done and we'll take and leave that there for the add-on and doing the other stairs as well because we got to take and do some modifications anyway so let me show you what where, where, what it's starting to look like okay this is the east end of the deck here we still got a few more lights we got to get I got uh, need to get one two three four five over here then I need to get for those steps over there six, seven, and then for that step there be eight. So I need eight more lights here. So I've got uh, a dozen or more on order. So I'm going to start. So we're going to get started here. So we got uh, we got to clean off the all this all the uh, um, stuff and everything. We've got to get that the electrical finished up. But we got uh, stairs here going that way. We got stairs going that way. Come up here. We have. This nice little seating here, which is right off the main bedroom. Uh, coming over here to the hot tub. Uh, Going to come down here. We've got a walkway here. So I've got a couple of tables set up here. 
Uh, that's an old refrigerator that's going to go into the bar when I get the bar built, which I'm going to do next weekend. So that watch out for a video on the building the bar. The chop saw here is going to take and go away. I'm done with that here. And so there's the propane grill. Uh, this table and there's the uh, smoker and uh, propane grill that's a charcoal smoker charcoal or wood smoker propane grill and then I'm gonna have a couple more items over here so I've got I think 15 12 15 18 people coming for barbecue here so I'm gonna have four there be six there be another six here before at the bar and then we got swing seat six down there so I think we're gonna have plenty enough space here uh, for this year, I'm going to get a couple of uh, portable table sinks set up here. For taking, so I'm going to be over there cooking and setting food up on the tables here for everybody to come up and get. And uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, so we're going to call this end of the deck rebuild because it's pretty much rebuilt. Still have to stain, but I'm going to wait till next spring to do that. I'm going to take and do uh, let everything weather here a little bit. Then come out and pressure wash it uh, really good before staining so i did this we did the staining of the the rails and everything because that was going to be easier to take and do that while they were up uh, while they were down before putting them up so that's where we're at and uh so what the rails look like that's what this the deck stain is going to look like so we're going to end up doing the staining next spring uh probably at the same time we do this add-on over here uh, maybe a little earlier who knows? Uh, but uh, that's what we got. This is the end of the deck rebuild. Nine parts.